Right behind me is the skyline of Singapore, a small city-state with limited natural resources, but now one of the most successful nations in the world. Purpose applies to not just individuals or companies, but countries too. Let's invite Mr. Lim back to share his perspective on how purpose transforms Singapore and why the same purpose has to drive the companies under Tamasic Holdings. Singapore's founding leaders were very clear in their purpose. Mr. Lee Kuan Yew made a very simple and yet very profound statement in a speech on the 27th of May 1965, shortly before Singapore separated from Malaysia. And this was in the Malaysian parliament. And he said, my business is the people's happiness. One short, simple sentence, but that defined the purpose he had and that is the people's happiness. And this was restated in the proclamation of Singapore's independence. And all of us Singaporeans know our national pledge. And indeed, happiness is core to the national pledge that we recite. Now, in the context of the 1960s, what did happiness mean to the people? It meant jobs, housing, education, healthcare. And it was indeed in pursuit of the people's happiness by creating jobs that the Singapore government founded a number of enterprises. But very soon, the Singapore government realized that it is not the business of regulators to also operate businesses. And that was why the Masik Holdings was formed. And all of these enterprises came under the Masik Holdings. And the government charged the Masik Holdings with operating on a fully commercial basis. So our portfolio companies must not forget our origins and why we were set up. What is it that we do that would enhance the people's happiness?